in the shed I uh, load the file and uh, just gonna cut it I um, zero the z-axis and the xy-axis around here and uh, let's see what it does it should be uh, drilling holes first and I'm gonna screw it all down so I don't have to use tabs and such let's see how it goes let's make some noise unfortunately put in some screws and um, I prefer these um, these uh, what is it Torx things um, let's see if autofocus resolves anything or might be fucking myself over if I do but uh, these since uh, you can reuse them a little bit better than the normal screws because you usually uh, turn them to shit at least I do this is annoying at this slow speed I ain't got time for that that's taking another hole I uh, hope I, uh, my, my bed is not as level as it used to be because it's used pretty heavy also the, the ring and such moisture is uh, fucking up so I hope I can make a clean cut without leaving something. Cool. Every now and then you got a bit that is full of crap. The torques, and then it doesn't work either, so I have to clean them. How many will be enough? I think... Rather too much clamping them too little, so I'm gonna fill up all the holes, it takes some time, but... See, this one has... all kinds of stuff compact into the torque, so it doesn't work anymore. So usually I just throw them away. Straight away, because they're gonna be annoying. Okay, so you can see uh, there. Uh, I increased the the, sp the height. The bit is hovering uh, above the material because of the screws. You learn as you go, sort of speak. <laughs> I have run into too many screws, and that will happen again, but hopefully not today.
Well, you can see that I um, shoot clamp the base material a little bit more. You can see at the end, at the chatter, you hear that the, the sound changes. And also when it completed, this, this popped up, as you can see. So this was a little bit like bending like this, which is quite not so good. So the surface finish would be better if this material was laying flat on the table as well, which is kind of hard because uh, I don't have a vacuum table or anything. Um, I'm not even sure if it works for such small parts. But, uh, well, they're colored. Let's see how they look and if they fit. Also now, uh, nice about torque bits is that uh, if you have them on, a, if you have to drill on a slip, or a, that, so it doesn't break your material or anything, you can use just your uh, the, the the thing as a normal. Uh, yeah, well, you can use it like with your hand to tighten stuff down because you have more of a feel what you're doing instead of just ramming in screws and uh, hope for the best. So you can do the last bit by hand, so to speak. This is the, my new thing apparently, so to speak. You should stop with it right away, because it's <laughs> it sucks, so to speak. Now at the beginning you can also hear, uh, hear um, it whining very loudly. And it has to do with feed rate. After I bumped up the feed rate, it, it made sort of a tearing uh, sound of a carton or something. That's the sound you want. So it's actually really cutting and not rubbing. So the parts... Uh, the surface finish is quite... Well, it's, it's rather good, to be honest. Let's see if they fit. So we got... Not even sure which which one is what. But I think... Oh, did I... Uh, hmm, no, I'm not sure. Okay, so... That could be a more tighter fit. I wish it was a bit more tight. So... I left some material on purpose to make uh, this slightly bigger and this whole tiny bit smaller, but apparently not enough. I can redo it and then uh, you, you will push this in and it will stay like this, which is rather nice when you're gluing. Not sure if I'm gonna do this only because of the fit. Uh, the fun thing is that uh, at every corner, uh, if you glue it like this, it has some sort of a way of taking up force in this direction as well as in this uh, direction because of these tabs. Because normally if you just, uh, and it would be faster, if I just cut some pieces with a saw, then there will only be uh, one side it can take up force. Uh, and now it can take up force in, in all directions uh, because of this uh, sort of uh, puzzle style. But unfortunately, I yeah, it's too bad it's not a really tight fit. I might actually do it again off screen and then uh, let you see the difference. That's too bad. But hell, it's I'm not gonna throw them away. I've thrown them away. I'm gonna probably make two of them anyway. So one will be this one, and the other one will be hopefully good. So I'm gonna do this off screen. So yeah, I uh, made a new set and um, slightly. Uh, yeah, the thing why it didn't work at all uh, last time was uh, apparently uh, the program didn't save it. So. Uh, it didn't left a little bit more material to make it a snug fit and now I redid it with uh, maybe a little bit too much <laughs> but it will work but for a next uh, thing that's something to remember but see so this should be able to fit in here and then 
gluing will be more easy. This is gonna be going wrong, I think. I mean, will end up in my hand, I think. I guess. It's <laughs> It is a really tight fit. A little bit too tight for me. If I had a rubber mullet or something, that would be nice. You can see it, uh, it, is, it barely fits. I might need some... Something to hit it, but not a hammer. Maybe uh, more of... Yes, that's perfect. Tiny bit more. Just one whack. This one is unfortunate. This hole ended exactly uh, on top of uh, the hole my bed is uh, my bed is bolted to the table, and it was exactly here where there is a screw. So there was no way of uh, screwing this piece onto the table, and I took some uh, some of this white stuff off. Too bad, but doesn't really matter I mean I'm gonna glue put glue on this side and it's gonna be metal so but if this was a uh, something that you would see then I would be quite not amused I mean what are the chances that this hole ends up exactly above a screw so and then the other one uh, goes uh, here I can tap that one in I might need my rubber mullet that would be nice. But I'm, uh, it's inside. This might actually work on its own to uh, make uh, a stretch miler onto. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. No, don't know. It's the best way to use a broomstick, I think, or a broom. I should get my rubber mullet. This is uh, just, just stupid. But that's uh, the idea. This one goes here. I think it's really cool, and I'm uh, gonna adjust this, uh, the amount of material it leaves. It leaves a little bit too much for my taste right now. I mean, it will fit, but I really have to hammer it in apparently so I'm gonna change that but for now I got one that's too loose one that's too tight but together they make it two and I think I'll just gonna use it because otherwise I have to waste more material which is possible of course ah well I'll probably gonna use this one and might make another one later and this one I'll just keep for for you never know <laughs> Just in case I fuck one up or something, I don't know. That's in for uh, that's it for uh, into the shed because it's getting cold, and I hope it was in focus and with enough light this time. Hopefully, in my kitchen again. Uh, so I should be able to fit this properly. And uh, tap in this one like this. Now it's gonna be a bit harder, of course, because I'm closing the shape now. I might actually leave the amount I left. I mean, it is a tight fit, but... We got ourselves a frame. 
think it's rather cool. Let's see if it fits. Yeah. So I left this uh, part on, pur on purpose because uh, when there are magnets uh, here, all, all over, uh, the wires need to have some space somewhere to be able to solder them to the frame. So this will be a frame and there's gonna be some pads of uh, PCB. And I do this uh, just as MagnaPen does probably, uh, same reason. Because you can uh, mount these wires to these pads and then you got a panel that is solid on its own and the solder connections to your amplifier and filter stuff is gonna be on this plate so there's nothing actually uh, pulling on these aluminum wires because uh, because they're pretty uh, prone to breaking so uh, yeah that's the reason why I left a little bit more space here to be able to glue some uh, PCB onto this so we got some solder pads uh, for the wires to go but this is, I think this is, this worked better than I thought it would work. So that's all, <laughs> it's always nice. This is perfect, it fits perfect. Also I, I, cut, I just cut this metal with some, uh, with a grinder and uh, a piece of straight steel. And it works quite good as well. You don't need to have a uh, cutting, uh, Thing, you know, this bump bump would be nice though. <laughs> Although I don't cut small metal that often, so really look at this is really perfect. Glad. Thank God. On the other hand, in the end result you won't see this at all, so it doesn't really matter, but uh yeah, it's always nice if something works out the way you hoped it would. There's a few funny things here, which is completely by accident, is that these holes line up with some of the holes of the metal. That's kind of weird. I didn't plan for that because it's, in, it's impossible, you have to, well, it's impossible. But, uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to use them. But uh, I think it was funny. So next part we'll be gluing this and that's probably gonna be an epoxy uh, thingy. And then hopefully uh, this material is thick enough for the magnets I want to use. Because I was worried it might be a little bit too uh, thin material. But I'm gonna solve this probably by using uh, tape this time to mount the miler, which is uh, which has a thickness of its own, so so I can um, make the spaces a little bit thicker than they are at the moment. On the other hand, it's not gonna be like a huge X Max anyway. I mean, it's a small speaker. It's, it's speaker is just for putting in the kitchen or something. We're at a teener uh, in his room just to play uh, some music with your phone while doing homework. That's actually actually the reason why I build it. Not the homework part, but... Okay, well, see you next time. I'll probably not making a video about gluing epoxy because it's. I know it's boring. I made it for another panel once and after I made it I thought this is kind of boring. So, we'll skip that part and then uh, suddenly it's glue.